What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. So in this one, I'm gonna be showing you three things I do to increase the profitability of my Facebook ads. So we will be jumping into my ad account. I will be showing you some ads which I'm currently running and I will be showing you three different ways in which I increase the profitability of them. With that being said, there's not a lot more to say to be honest, so let's jump straight into it. So the first thing I do, especially when I'm transitioning between that testing stage and the scaling stage, is I am checking out the breakdowns. And the reason I'm doing this is because Facebook does half a job in my opinion. Sometimes they won't always spend the money in the correct places. Sometimes they'll only spend the money where they get the cheapest clicks. However, clicks does not always equal sales. Yes, we wanna get traffic onto our store for as cheap as possible, but we wanna make sure we're getting the highest quality traffic. We wanna make sure we're getting the people who are most interested in our products. And the way we do this is by looking at the breakdowns. So if we take a look at this particular ad here, we can see on the left hand side we've got all the different age brackets broken down by Facebook and then on the right hand side we've got all the different pieces of data now unfortunately since the iOS 14 rollout which seems like such a long time ago now it doesn't give you a breakdown of the conversion value per age range so what we have to use uh, at least what I use is the cost per link click this one here and the link click through rate. The reason being is because the link click through rate is a percentage of people who see our ad creative, click it and go to our Shopify store. So the people doing that are the most interested, otherwise they wouldn't click it. Therefore, we wanna make sure that we're focusing our budgets on the age ranges of people who are most interested in our product because they're gonna be the ones that buy it. And how this can translate into increased profitability then is if we take a look at this example, it's actually a really good example because if I just draw your attention to the impressions on the left-hand side, we can see that it's nearly 1 million in total. Um, and we can also see if we draw our attention to the cost per link click and the link click through rate that the cheapest click are 65 plus so this category here if I can highlight that and the highest link click-through rate is also 65 plus however the impressions is only 160,000 which is about 20% of overall so what this may potentially indicate is that other 80% of ad spend has been spent in less profitable places so if I'm to scale this particular ad what I would do is narrow any future budget spent just onto 65 plus what we can also find out via the breakdowns as well if we go to breakdown by delivery we can also go to general and uh, from past experience, it tends to be females, um, which are the strongest purchasers on Facebook. If we have a look at the CTR and the cost per link click, we can see that the CTR is much higher in females. So again, to scale this and to make it more profitable, we're gonna focus our ad budget purely on females. The reason why I chose this particular ad creative is because this has auto placements on it. So from experience, to be honest, I typically know where the purchases are always gonna come from. So there's maybe half a dozen, which I'll always just go straight to, rather than waste budget testing all these different ones. However, the process is the same. So if you've been running ad sets and they're not quite profitable, have a look at your placements, see where the cheapest clicks are coming from, see where the highest click-through rate is coming from, and then narrow any future ad sets down onto those placements. And a good example for this creative would be the instant article on Facebook via the mobile app. We can see the impressions is 2,700 with 0.66 cents CPC link and 1.3% link click-through rate. The average for this is 0.83, so it's almost double what the average is. This would indicate that whoever's seeing it via this placement is really interested in this product. However, I've only spent 10, maybe 5% of the total budget on this placement, so again, any future ad sets that I run with the same creative for the same product to the same audience will be focused onto this placement. Moving on to number two is something you can actually do off of Facebook and that's to offer cross sales and upsells on your Shopify store. If you're not doing this on your Shopify store, I can guarantee that you are not being as profitable as you can. You are leaving money on the table. I can promise you that by offering an extra or bigger product to the customer, there's gonna be a certain percentage, albeit quite a small percentage, percentage some of them will take you up on that offer and this in turn will increase your average order value it will increase the amount of profit you're making per order and therefore it will increase the profitability the return on ad spend for your facebook ads so if you've never come across upsells or cross sales before then here's a quick introduction on it perhaps i'll do a more detailed video later on down the line but basically an upsell is where you offer somebody a larger amount of something so if you're selling a 
toy that comes with loads of pieces so if you're selling some kind of building set that comes with let's say 50 pieces for 20 dollars when they get to cart you could say hey double the size or increase the size to say 75 pieces or 100 pieces for an extra 10 dollars and it's a pop-up or it can be in the cart there's lots of different options and i'll show you a couple of examples of my favorites in a second to give you a real world example of this is if you've ever gone through the mcdonald's drive through and ordered a meal the first question they probably ask you is is that a large meal and by asking people that then there is a psychology behind it to be honest i'm not smart enough to understand it but i know what the result is and the fact is that people out of politeness don't always like to say no so some people will say yes just to avoid having to say no and that in itself will translate into a higher average order value and more profit so that's what an upsell is a cross sell is when you offer a different product to go with the product that they're buying so for example this time of year it's dark the clocks have gone back now if somebody's buying a front bike light at cart or at some point at checkout you might offer them a rear bike light to go with the front one it's really important that when you offer your cross sell that it's a product that's related and goes hand in hand with the initial product if somebody's buying a front bike light and you offer them a basketball or you offer them a I don't know, a pet bowl to go with that, they're probably gonna say no because it's irrelevant. Another good example, which has worked brilliantly for me in the past is I used to sell LED dog collars. And once people got through to checkout, I would offer them an LED lead to go with that dog collar. And that had quite a high percentage of people uptake it, which increased the amount of money, increased the return on my ad spend basically. So when it comes to upsells and cross sales, then my favorite app is Rebuy um, Personalization Engine. You will find it in the Shopify app store. I'm not affiliated. I haven't got a link for you to set up. It's genuinely the one that I use. I was actually introduced this by a friend that I used to work with. Um, and ever since I haven't gone back, it is kind of complicated to get set up but once you do the results will speak for themselves so as you can see it comes with a 21 day free trial so you have plenty of time to try it out just make sure you've got established traffic coming to your store to make for to take full advantage of those 21 days after that it's a hundred dollars a month sounds a lot but the return on what the app costs you will 100% be worth it. So here's some different examples then of upsell and cross-sell features of it. To be honest, most themes offer this one, which is just different product recommendations. And um, they have this pop-up option, so you can set this up when somebody clicks checkout and they get hit with the offer. And that's typically where I put it. The other place is on the actual cart draw, and this one's worked really well for me in the past. And again, you can have upsell or cross-sell offers on there. So naturally, it's like a really kind of the opposite to intrusive unintrusive way of kind of hinting at somebody buying an extra product it's like a soft sell it's something that's just going to capture the customer's eye without it blocking the whole screen and saying hey buy this um, and as long as you get the products right you'll get a nice uptake in the offer which will in turn increase the profitability of any ad spend moving on to the third and final one which is your quality rankings these are super important i don't hear many people talking about these at all so here's five different ads what i want to show you and all three of them are pretty important so we have the quality ranking we have the engagement rate ranking and we have the conversion rate ranking so once your ad is established and it's been running i believe it's 500 impressions facebook will give you a ranking for each of these and if you haven't been getting the results you hoped for or you simply just want to improve the results you've been getting up to this point and increase the profitability of them then what you need to do is you need to get your scores get your rankings and see what they are then you need to head over to this page here and then basically you marry them up so if we take an example of one of mine we've got above average 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 so we would go over to this page and now we're looking for average or above, average or above, average or above, basically the top one, probably not the best example, but causes are, you're all good. Um, recommendations optimized for your advertising objective. So basically Facebook is saying we're doing a pretty decent job um, and there's nothing we need to do at this point to it. If however, one of your ad creatives is getting a score of, let's say above, or average above or average but then the conversion rate ranking is below average in fact this is a common one that i see the cause is the ad isn't producing conversions so that basically means whatever the off facebook experience is it's not up to scratch because people aren't buying your product so the recommendations from facebook here would be to 
improve the call to action of your ad or post click experience. So your post click is experience is your Shopify store basically. So from this point onwards, what you would do is make some changes to the page in which your customer is landed on typically, or it should be your product page. You might increase or decrease the price or swap out some um, product images or run an offer for a limited time or completely redesign the product page or put a GIF on there or change up the information or add some reviews, whatever it may be, just to increase that post-click experience so customers start actually buying your product as a higher percentage. And so with that being said, there's three things that I do with every single ad set that I run. I routinely go through these three things to see if I can improve the results from what's been happening up to this point. Make sure you try them and apply them to your ad account. Most importantly, make sure you come back, let me know the differences they've made and fingers crossed, they make the same positive impact for you as they do for me. If you haven't started your business yet and you wanna hit the ground running, check out my free training. It's one to two hours long, it is long, but it does cover a lot of information. It'll take you through how to build your business from the ground up and get customers buying your products in the space of 21 days. It's 100% free, so make sure you check that out. It'll be the top link in the description down below. Apart from that, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.